Guys, don't forget to like, share, and join our Telegram channel by clicking on the link which you can find in the description below. Remember, this is our only official Telegram channel, so do not be scammed. If you do not have Telegram, you can always download it so you can interact with us. Hi guys, welcome back. We're back with another video. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon to be the first to watch when we upload any new content all right guys so basically what we're going to talk about today um, is how you can actually identify an up phase uh, what to look for within an up phase um, what to not look for what what to do and what not to do within an up phase and same applies for a down phase all right and we're going to keep it very simple all right so remember as you are trading you need a set of rules that you're going to follow okay so within an ad phase, basically what we're going to identify is we want to see that we have got um, if price is changing character or the direction rather we're going to have something like this a drop a base and then we have the rally right and then we can see price making a higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high right so basically what we're going to talk about within uh, an up phase is the only time right so the first thing that you want to look for is the extremes right we are going to focus on the extremes. so when i say extremes i'm talking about these areas right extremes your swing points right we are looking at these swing points and when we look at these swing points right if we are in an up phase what we are looking for the first thing that we want to see is we want to see supply get taken out right we want to see supply get taken out once we see supply get taken out what we focus on is the area or the swing point rather remember the extreme point right um which caused uh, that supply to be taken out so once we have once we are in an up phase we do not have supply right so we do not look to sell within an up phase i know some people uh you know can counter trade and all that but for this video, and you can go back test this, we are going to look at the accuracy, all right, of just looking at your uh, swing points, your extreme points, and not looking for supply within an up phase, right? So once we have this, right, once this area has been taken out, the first thing that we're going, uh, we're going to look for is we want to see price getting back to this extreme point, right? Remember, this is the swing point in this case, which is responsible for taking out this supply right so after that happens right we then look for a correction right back to our swing point at this order block right here and then we'd love to see price get to the upside so in this case if we are going long right we are just going to have our stop loss slightly below right give it some room right depending on your spread right and then we look to target the next swing points depending uh, on what we have uh, on the left side right so number one we do not look for supply in an up phase right we do not look for supply in an up phase and this applies for a down phase also right? so if we're going to have a rally base drop and start having something like this right we are going to focus on the extreme points which are your swing points in this case we're focusing on these areas right these areas are very important um when 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 trading right now remember market conditions will always be different right market conditions will always be different or not always be the same at all times so um, you need to be very selective when it comes to that okay so in this case um what you need to look for is you do not find demand in a down phase right you do not find demand in a down phase meaning you do not look to buy in a down phase right you remember you need to know how to identify an up phase or a down phase right so when we have market moving in a down phase right we do not so there is no demand right i know some people might you know look to counter trade but we do not look for buy opportunities in a down phase right so in this case as you can see what we can actually look for here uh 
is we've got this area and that area breaks the structure meaning it takes out this demand which is good so once that has been taken out right we'd love to see price make its way back to this order block right in this case and then we would love to see price move down why is this uh, you know, a high probable structure to look for when you're trading it's because this area once we have a swimming points which takes out this demand right this area becomes still fresh right this area becomes fresh remember to increase your probability you need to trade at these fresh zones right so in this case we're gonna want to see price correct to the upside back to that order block and then we see and move to the downside and same applies right if you're going to go short right uh, sorry about that we're just going to have our sl slightly above right giving it some room right giving it some room right because sometimes the market does shoot up um and they can actually take you out right so just slightly above right and then you target either you target your next swing point or other structures depending on what we have to the left right depending on what we have on the left side right so i hope you can actually go back test this as simple as it is right it's very effective right very 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 effective as simple as it looks it's very very effective all right so remember within an up phase never look for supply right within an up phase right so in this case when we have something like this as you can see this demand area would be the area we are targeting right because because of this demand area we had this swing point being taken out so what you expect in this case is a correction right and then you can, you can also use limit orders right you can use limit orders or alerts as price gets back to this area and then um we look to take our trade to the upside all right so i hope you learned something on this one so we actually had a trade guys um that i analyzed and this was your nzd right very simple as you can see price is moving down and as price is moving down as you can see we've got this drop base drop so when this drop base drop happened as you can see we had this point this structure here being taken out we also had this demand area here being taken out after that demand area was taken out as you can see um price was actually back at this order block right and what i love about this as you can see is we had you know these manipulation points right here as you can see resistance 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 and then finally liquidity was grabbed as you can see for those people who were selling they they definitely got stopped out um at that point and then i wanted to see price move from this area and at least target these areas down here right so if we actually check it out uh if we check out what happened after there this is what we have all right this is what we have all right so this actually dropped uh for more than 300 pips and we also actually sent this uh in our, our vip signal channel all right and as you can see we actually made um good money on this one right we made good money on this one and a client of mine actually um actually because of these trades as you can see managed to pass um you know the first phase of this uh funded account right so if you're going to look at you know further confluence as you know we combine ptmm and you know these smart money concepts this is what we had right if you look at our tdi from this area you can see we had this shock fin around this area right here and then you can see this rsi line was already below the market baseline right so this was just a move back just above the market baseline as you can see Right. so we had a in most cases what we have is a market baseline bounce but in this case just above and that makes sense right because as you can see we had a trap above the 50 ema so after this move happened we had a 1350 crossover confirming the lock of that peak formation right confirming the lock of that peak formation what i loved about this is because uh as you can see the second leg was actually higher than the first and we had the blue tracer inside right a very powerful setup or structures to look out for so this is this was actually our first move back to the uh 50 ma so if we look at this from the 15 minutes which is the entry time frame this is what we had right this is what we had right first leg and then we had a second leg and uh we continued moving to the downside and as you can see even on the next day we had a 50 pound so you had another opportunity to actually um go short right there 
right so i hope you actually go and back test this to actually see how powerful is this how powerful this is right because once mastered you'll be able to actually you know execute good trades um as you trade all right guys hope you learned something from this if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also join our telegram channel for free signals and free setups find the link in the description below have you been struggling to make consistent profits in the forex markets or not had enough time to analyze the markets and trade at mmk we have experienced and qualified traders who analyze the markets and send signals directly to your phone we are highly selective traders and we provide 5 to 10 signals weekly and a minimum pip count of 1,000 pips monthly. Join the winning team and stop donating your money to brokers.